Hello everyone. For downloading the SCAS software, what you have to do, you just have to type the scratch mit.edu and the Google for using it online. So as of now, I have already signed in, so I'm signing out from here. So after signing out, when you type scash.mit.edu, this will be the if you want to use it online. So for using online, you need to sign in first. For signing, you need to create a username and a password. For that, you will go to join scratch. You will click on the join scratch. Create your username. That can username can be anything. Create a password. Go to next and couple of more details. Select it. Then it will open. As of now, I'm not doing it. I'm just directly going for a sign in. I click on the sign in. I write my username and the password. And I click on the sign in button. So now this is how we can use it online. As you can see over here, this is my software, or let's say this is my ID, which I'm going to use. So if I go for the profile, my stuff, whatever the project you are going to make, it will store in my stuff. If you want to sign out, you can go to sign out. Now, after this, if you want to create a project online, okay, this online is only for you. This is your ID. This will be your ID. You have to click on the create button. Once you click on the create button, new project will open. You can see it's creating a project. It's loading a sprite. So this is how the latest version of the sprite looks like the software's cache look like. Now, this is my project. Let's say if I design any project, let's say something here, how we have, we can save this. We can uh, tell you later on. So this is a file. If you go to file, we have an option of save a file, save a copy. Okay. So if you want to save your file in your laptop or in your computer, you just click on the save now. So whatever the project you have made here, it will save in your computer. If you want to save it online, you just have to directly click on save now. It will saving project. It will save on online. Now let's go for the offline version. Now for offline version, if you want to download the scratch, what you have to do, you have to type the scratch download. That's it. Okay. In the Google, we will share the link with you as well. Scratch offline editor. You click on that. Then you can see this download the scratch. The new window comes up. Now you need to scroll a little bit down. You have to choose your operating system. If you're using the windows, then it's all by default. It's already selected. You just directly go to direct download. Click on the direct download. Once it's downloading, you need to install the software as any software you need to install. If you are using the MacBook, then you just click on the MacBook, then directly go to direct download. Then you can use it offline. Now, first of all, you need to check with the offline version. If your laptop or computer doesn't support the offline version, then only you have to go to the online version for using it online. As I've already told you, you need to sign in. Then you need to make your username and ID. Then you will create it. 